On November 2, 1936, Canada's National Public Broadcaster was born. Back then, we broadcasted just 10 hours of French and English programming on the radio. It's kind of amazing when you compare that to what we do now and how we've evolved both in terms of content and technology. In the 50s, when television took off, CBC's TV content was just about 60% Canadian, with the French service at about 75%. Even in the early 80s, when you turned on the TV, you'd see things like, in American programs, Mork and Mindy, MASH, WKRP in Cincinnati, airing on CBC during prime time. This season, CBC Television brought you Michael, Tuesdays and Thursdays, Insecurity and the Debaters, and its content was 82% Canadian during prime time. And as you can see by the red on this chart, which shows Canadian programs in prime time on the major networks, we are clearly the home of Canadian programming. Et la télévision de Radio-Canada diffuse maintenant 88% d'émissions canadiennes aux heures de grande écoute. Only 20 years ago, in 1991, CBC Radio-Canada offered eight services on two platforms, radio and television. Now, if you tune in, you get no less than 30 services with content available online, on mobile devices, on cable and satellite TV. Radio shows like The Debaters and Q can be seen on television or on the web. Television shows like Tout le monde en parle in Heartland can be viewed online. 